These are the men and women of Beaver Valley, the bravest of the brave. They fought fearlessly for their country, their city, their community, and for the ideals we share as Americans. They served proudly in World War II, Korea, Vietnam, the Gulf War, Iraq, and Afghanistan. Here, now, are their stories, their own experiences in their own words, the words of the heroes of Beaver Valley. I started working with veterans back in 1988. I was employed at the veterans office in El Equipa that they had, and I worked there for a couple years. My father-in-law was a Korean veteran that was injured, and so he was service-connected. So I, I knew about the veterans' benefits, and he asked me if I'd be willing to go and work in that office because he was helping them on their advisory board. So I said, okay. So between his, his issues with the VA and the large amount of veterans in my family, I felt obligated that that's something that I need to do. That was my way of giving back because I did not serve in the military, but it's my way of giving back to the veterans, showing them that, you know, I'm here for you and I'll do what I can to make sure you get what you deserve to get. So we currently have a little bit less than 17,000 veterans here in Beaver County. The Beaver County Veterans Affairs Office is um, an office that is required by county code to be here. Every county in the state of Pennsylvania has a, a veterans county office. The main purpose of the office when they first started was to keep track of veterans' burials and deaths. Uh, the other things that we do here, we help veterans file for any federal, state, or um, benefit that they may be entitled to. So the federal benefits can encompass VA health care. We file for compensation for veterans, and compensation would be for any illness or injury that that veteran may have incurred while they were in the military. Uh, the other benefit that we file for is a pension benefit. Now, a pension benefit is only for wartime veterans. So the veteran would have had to serve at least one day during a wartime period. We also help with any VA educational benefits uh, that need to be filed for, home loan guarantees, just about anything that the VA has out there we will assist with. The challenges to the job, in my opinion, would be not everybody that's a veteran understands that the guidelines are regulated by the federal government. Sometimes it's difficult for them to understand how the VA makes a determination on what they're entitled to. A lot of times someone will walk into the office and they'll say, I had no idea that this office is here. They see the sign hanging from above the door there. So I would just like the, the people to know that the county does have a veterans office and we are here Monday through Friday, 30 to 430, unless it's a holiday and the courthouse is closed. The, re the reward is when you have a veteran that comes in and is so grateful that he was able to get some sort of either recognition that yes, this was something that happened in the military. It's not so much the financial part of it, but that does help the veterans. And if they're entitled to, to get that benefit because of injuries or illnesses, that really makes all of us feel really good that, you know, we got this claim through and they're getting what they deserve. What they deserve. One of the most gratifying things is when you have a, a widow come in here and she doesn't think she's going to get any benefits for maybe an illness that her husband had. And we gather all the paperwork and we get it in and then they come in and say, this money makes such a difference not only losing the income from their spouse, but now they're maybe able to get some money from the VA. So that makes a big difference. So that's another one of the rewarding ones. When they come in and, and you know, when you cry with them when they come in, and then they come in and they hug you, and they're just so gratif you know, have so much gratification that we were able to get them some assistance.